Welcome to the video lecture series, Culture, Worldview, and Origins. We're Tim and Holly Nyquist. In this series, we have touched on, on culture and how culture can influence our thinking patterns, how we think, what we think, where we think. Now we're into worldview and how worldview uh, and its concepts, related concepts, how that affects how we can, we see things and how we look at things, how we even process things. In today's lecture, we're going to now look at how worldview relates to philosophy. We've touched on worldview and what, how it's Welt's uh, Welt concept. It's three Welts, the Welt build, the Welt and Chang, and the Welt model, and how they each function within the, the Welt concepts then we've looked at philosophy and how philosophy is actually uh, divided into four branches and how what those four branches do under philosophy. In this lecture, we are looking at how does worldview relate to philosophy? How do the two concepts relate? Because they seem to be um, aiming at providing answers to the same questions in life, the big questions in life. Um, who are we? What are we doing here? Where are we going when we're done? Uh, philosophy and worldview tend to, uh, as their definitions, uh, address those same topics. So what is the difference between the two concepts? Albert Walters, in his work entitled Weltanschauung in the History of Ideas, he has listed five different relationships through history or through the last 200 years of how different philosophers or thinkers have related the concepts of worldview and philosophy to each other. The first one says worldview repels philosophy. So it's kind of like a two ends of a magnet and that they repel each other or that they are they're, they're, they're similar in that they treat different things, but they treat them from different ways, so they actually are, they repel each other in, in the area that philosophy is, is, is uh, reasoning and academic, where, philosophy, or where worldview is, is a, uh, an unacademic un, uh, or, or a, an unexamined view of the world. And so that's how those philosophers, they look at it as worldview is, is different and repels philosophy and, and, and philosophy repels worldview. There's another group of philosophers. Number two, it says worldview crowns philosophy. So in other words, you start with philosophy, you build yourself up, and then you come to the area of values and ethics and morals, and that is worldview. And so that they believe that worldview then crowns philosophy. Well, there's another area, another view, number three, that says worldview flanks philosophy. Flanks meaning parallel to. And these philosophers say worldview has nothing to do with philosophy. Philosophy has to do with science. Science has nothing to do with worldview. Therefore, worldview has nothing to do with philosophy. So, philosophy, in their view, should never touch and intermingle with worldview. And worldview doesn't have anything to do with philosophy. They're parallel concepts that do not and should not mix. So that is number three. Number four, Worldview yields a philosophy. So that's kind of like number two, where philosophy yields at the end a crown, which is worldview. And this one inverts that, that says worldview then yields a crown of philosophy. And so philosophy is the crown of worldview. So it's, it's kind of a, the, the inverted uh, action. As you can tell, there doesn't seem to be a lot of coherence between the, the different views. And the fifth one is worldview is philosophy. It's the same thing. 
Well, that's kind of an interesting concept because I'm trying to figure out um, what is the difference between these two. And uh, I have not been able to really see that. So what's going on? Well, further on in his work, Albert Walters describes now um, philosophy and worldview in his eyes. He describes them. And he doesn't know that we have just finished before a culture, section on culture of a Western, non-Western type of thinking pattern and how actually the the non-Western thinking pattern is often governed by an external world. It's uh, through uh, visual processing. And visual processing uh, might be linked to how one views the world, a worldview. So anyway, what did Albert Walters come up with? He says, uh, Walters describes the Greek term, Greek, Okay, where did the Western thinking come from? The Greek culture. So he describes the Greek term philosophia as placing emphasis on the universal, the abstract, and the eternal, which are all Western type of tendencies. You have a Greek term, it's called philosophy, and it tends to focus on things that are universal, abstract, and eternal, which are Western tendencies, Western type of characteristics. So what do we have? How do you compare philosophy with worldview, and how do you compare them when they seem to be uh, addressing the same subjects? Well, then we have Albert Walters. Again, he says, Whereas the German term, Weltanschauung, worldview, places emphasis on the particular, the concrete, and the temporal, which are all tendencies associated with the non-Western thinking. So what, what do we have here? What do we have between philosophy and worldview? There's a lot of people that don't like the term philosophy, uh, but don't have a problem with worldview. Okay, there's others that like philosophy and have problem with worldview. So what do we do? What do I do? Well, what it appears is that they treat the same subject matter uh, practically in different ways, and they start at different points. But one is through viewing and the other one is through reasoning, which is one would be through maybe auditory processing and one through visual processing. So what is, so how do they relate? Well, let's look at the house again. The house we have, we have the foundation and the foundation, the zero, ground zero is culture, which corresponds to Weltbild. And then that comes up and Weltbild incorporates the reliable knowledge, the basic beliefs, and up to the system of thoughts. Weltbild. Then we have Weltanschauung, which is the worldview, which incorporates the system of thought and the methods, and it's a viewing, it's an action, it's, it's a going on, it's happening through the world picture. Then you have Welt. Welt model. It's modeled. We build a model that reflects our view, which reflects our picture. Now, how does that correspond to philosophy? Well, on the other side of the house, this side, you have epistemology source, which has to do with knowledge, which corresponds with Weltbild. Then you have metaphysics, which has to do with the basic beliefs. And that has to do with Weltbild. Then you have the system of thought. You have the methods. Well, you're back to epistemology. Epistemology deals with methods. So methods and epistemology are overlapping with Welton and Chung, with viewing the world and how the world is viewed. Then we implement the system based on our epistemological source, our metaphysics, 
our epistemological methods and our logic, we implement it. And that's what we have in getting to our, what we value, our ethics, our axiology, number four, which corresponds to the model across. So how does philosophy relate to worldview? Well, I, I think it's, it's maybe m not the right term exactly, because worldview is one concept of three, whereas philosophy is the general concept of four. So we would then have to say, how do they relate? Well, they relate at different levels. And we have to identify the levels to be able to relate um, each one with the Welt build and the Welt and Chang and the Welt model and how they relate to the different branches of philosophy. That's what we'll see in the next, the next lecture. But again, thank you for accompanying me on this one. And again, if you'd like to contact us, we're Tim and Holly Nyquist at doubleroadrover.com and uh, or thn.academia at gmail.com. Double Rover, again, that's double road. That's two ways, two ways of seeing things, two ways of processing things. And it was our rover that took us all across that country faithfully to observe and understand there's different ways of getting there and there's different ways of seeing things. Thanks again.